Hey, my name is Mark Heaps at Life by Pixels, and recently I wrote an article that was featured on a blog for Adobe where I described my favorite secret tool for presentation production techniques bridging our favorite Adobe tools like Adobe Illustrator with our favorite presentation tools, PowerPoint and Keynote. So let me show you that tool right now. So you can see here in my Illustrator file, I've got a series of artboards that I've produced, and this is a vector path that has an Illustrator art brush on it. So that is just a special brush. Those aren't individual objects. If you can see, I go to outline view here in Illustrator, you can see that. And the reason I've done this is I've set out my artboards in a way that they're the same size as slides in PowerPoint. Now I'm doing that strategically because I want this to animate as if it's following the path from slide to slide. And I'm thinking about using push transitions inside of PowerPoint. Well, when you've got your art inside of Illustrator, instead of exporting each artboard as its own SVG or doing any of that, and then going to PowerPoint and importing those SVGs, ungrouping them, recoloring them, etc., you'll notice I can do it all from right here inside of Illustrator to RecoSoft. I'm gonna go to File, RecoSoft, and this is the plugin that I installed from them. It's called IR to Office, and I'm gonna be going to PowerPoint, but there is an option to go to Keynote if you need that. And when you choose this, it's gonna let you know that you need to save the file, right? So here's my little warning, because my file hasn't been saved. So once I save an updated version of this file, let's go back over here and go File, RecoSoft, Export to PowerPoint, and you'll see it gives me a different dialog box. Where do I wanna put this file? Or I'm gonna save this in my RecoSoft folder, but you could save it to any project folder. I'm gonna hit Choose here, and it's gonna ask me, do you want to convert vector graphics with any blending applied to images? So let me show you what I mean. If I choose Convert to Vector Graphics, it'll begin the process of actually converting this, and then it's gonna ask us if we wanna actually open those slides into PowerPoint. So because I have multiple artboards here, each artboard is going to become its own slide in a PowerPoint presentation. So let's go ahead and let this finish converting, and then uh, we'll check it out inside of PowerPoint. Okay, and now it's converted. So you can see it says, would you like to open the converted file? Which means it's going to pull up the PowerPoint file that it's generated from Illustrator. So let's press open. Here it is launched into PowerPoint and you can see there's my striped assets over here on the left. Each artboard has become its own slide. And so the cool thing about this now is I can go ahead and add transitions to this so that it moves with each of the vector elements. All right, so there we go. I've added the transitions to all of our slides. Let's see the whole thing play through. Here it is in play mode. When I click to go to the next slide, stripe moves along, click the next one, it goes up, click the next one, it goes to the next slide, next one, it goes down, next one, it goes across again. And there you go. That was my artwork from Adobe Illustrator brought directly into PowerPoint, quickly animated, spanning multiple artboards to create individual slides inside of our favorite presentation tool. All right, I'm Mark Heaps at Live by Pixels. I highly recommend you check out the Recosoft plugin IR to Office. If you regularly have to create graphics, infographics, data visualizations, or any type of complex visual that would just be too complicated to draw in our presentation tool, and you still wanna retain some form of editability rather than working in Photoshop and going into our presentation tool. So check it out and uh, happy presenting.